Joining us as he does each month is our district attorney, Scott Riley, who represents the 36th Prosecutorial District. That's Catawba, Burke, and Caldwell counties. Mr. Riley, happy holidays and welcome in. Merry Christmas. Thank it's you for good, having me. Good to see you as always. And we're going to talk about some happy items uh, as, as opposed to some of the reports that we do. And the first thing you wanted to talk about was some maiden police officers who have been honored. I, I, exactly. And last week, uh, I was lucky enough to be invited to the maiden Police Department Christmas lunch where they recognized a number of officers. Um, Officer Freeman was named uh, Maiden Police Officer of the Year, so congratulations to Officer Freeman. I met his entire family and it was a proud day for him. Um, but then they also recognized three officers for a drug investigation. And uh, you and I have talked a number of times about the fentanyl that's just pouring in over our southern borders and unfortunately making its way up into uh, Catawba County and unfortunately this past year it did make its way up into uh, Maine High School and a young man, a uh, junior at the high school, unfortunately took a pill laced with fentanyl and died of an overdose. Um, the Maine Police Department responded, uh, they briefed our office within two days and after an exhaustive investigation um, they turned over to our office a very professional prosecution summary. Uh, that investigation resulted in the person uh, that sold that uh, fentanyl. Uh, she was charged with drug, uh, excuse me, uh, death by distribution for selling the drug. She was also charged with traffic in opiates and then finding where that um, fentanyl was coming from. Another person was charged with trafficking um, in opiates and then most importantly their source um, in an adjoining county but because of the maiden uh, investigation a search was conducted at a, a home and 10,000 fentanyl pills were um, seized. So uh, congratulations to the Maiden Police Department. Those officers that were recognized were Jaleel Smith, Investigator Smith, um, Wagner, and David Lee, who's a school resource officer at the Maine High School. You wanted to talk about Lance Sigmund and another nice news item regarded, regarding yes. Mr. Sigmund. Well, it's a little unfortunate for our office, but Lance Sigmund has been the Chief Assistant DA in Catawba County for the last four years, um, and he retired, uh, or he's retiring at the end of the year, and we we had a nice luncheon for him yesterday where some of his um, uh, people that had worked with him uh, over the years came and joined us for a, a nice lunch. Uh, Lance Sigmund, is, this is actually his second retirement, he spent 21 years in the Air Force, retired as a lieutenant colonel, was uh, 21 years in the JAG Corps and then came to the district attorney's office and he w has done an excellent job in running our Catawba County office. Uh, he also has the distinction of trying three first degree murder cases, one in each county of our district and obtaining first degree, first degree murder convictions in all three counties in our district. So congratulations, um, he, he, will be, he will be very missed and thank, uh, thank you Lance Sigman for all that you have done for the people of the 36th district. Also, it is that time of year when there are going to be a lot of cars on the road. It's time to take a look at traffic in the area and be extra careful. You should always be careful, of course, Certainly. but be extra careful this time of year. The day before Christmas and the day after Christmas have the most number of cars and unfortunately the most number of car accidents. Our, our goal is to have zero deaths over the holiday um, period for the Christmas holidays and we could accomplish that if everybody would slow down no drinking and driving, wear your seat belts, and no distracted driving. That means do not be using your uh, phone or be texting or anything like that uh, while you're driving. That's Scott Riley, our district attorney for the 36th Prosecutorial District, and he brings us his report each month here on WHKY-TV News.